Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 20 in chapter 13. Chapter 13 is about fluids. We can see for this hydraulic press, and we need to follow the force the sample act on the system, right? So in this one, we can see what is given. The given is the force F act as there, the D1 and D2. So this is D2. This is D1. Okay, and it's a cross-sectional A that is here. So how can we do that? So we need to follow the pressure for this sample. First, the thing we need to follow the force for the sample, right? The force for the sample must equal to F2 because this sample is balanced right here. So if we want to find F2, we need to look at the F1. So F2 and F1, what is equal? The pressure, right? The pressure is equal for them. And if we want to know F1, we, how can we do that? We can come there, look at the F. So the first step, we use the torque is balanced for the system. Select the B as the rotation axis. So the torque for this one is F2L minus F1L equal to zero, agree? So this is a balance, so the force and the arm. 2L, this is a force, and it's arm, 1L. So in this case, we find F1 equal to 2F, right? Now we look at the F1 and F2. We find this is filled with a kind of, what? A kind of the liquid. And for this kind of the liquid, the pressure must equal, because this two side is forced, so the pressure must be equal. The pressure is the force minus uh, divided by A cross sectional errors. Do you agree? So P1 must equal to P2. So P1 is F1 divided by cross sectional errors. Is there pi R1 squared, right? So pi R1 squared. And then this, this part is pi R2 squared. So F2 divided by pi R2 squared. In this case, we find the relationship between F1 and F2. Now we look at there, the force sample equal to F2 because the force is balanced. So force sample equal to F2 and input this equation inside, we find the F2 equal to the, this uh, constant times F1 and F1 equals 2 times F, right? Now we need to find the pressure for this uh, sample. That is use the force of sample divided by A. A is uh, pi 2 square. A, A is given, oh sorry, A, A is given at zero. A is given at zero. So in this case, we input F sample inside. We can find the function look like this one and input all the known quantities. Get the final answer there. Thank you.